Hi, this is Mike Zenicola from Keller Williams in Westlake, Ohio. And we're here today to talk about the numbers, the commissions, the actual amount of money you take home uh, when you're with Keller Williams as opposed to some of the older companies you might have been with. You know, there's a lot of changes going on now, and I think it might be a great opportunity to talk about the benefits of being a Keller. But most importantly, it's the numbers. So Greg and I thought that we'd have this uh, video just so that you can take a look at the numbers uh, safely on your computer as opposed to coming into the office. And then you can certainly call us with any questions you might have. At Keller, there are no special deals. Everyone is on the same program. So let me tell you a little bit about what that program is. At Keller, everyone is on a 100% plan, but you pay a cap. And what that cap is, well, there's two aspects of the cap. You pay $18,000 to the office, and you pay $3,000 to Keller Williams International. Now, unlike some of the other plans where you have just a monthly fee, you don't write a check at Keller Williams every month. Rather, you pay your uh, caps through your commissions as you earn them. So this is how it works. There's an $18,000 cap to the office. You pay that 30% of your commissions until that $18,000 is paid. Now let's say, for instance, you only sell 40, you only have a gross commission income of $40,000. 30% of that is only $12,000. That's all you pay. You don't pay the extra. There's no obligation to pay the $18,000. It's just 30% of your commissions through the whole year, unless you've passed the certain level. The second part you pay is a cap to Keller Williams International, which is $3,000. You actually pay that out of your commissions 6% until they're sold, until that's paid. So what you have is, until the, until, while you're paying both of the splits, both of the caps, excuse me, you pay, you get a 64-36 split. When, you, when you're finished paying the, K, the cap to KW, you're at a 70% split. Once you get past both those le levels, you're at 100%. It's a true 100% split, and there are no other fees that are owed the office. In addition, there is an E&O charge of $200 and a technology fee of $120. Those are the fees you pay at Keller Williams. Now, I know at your current company, some people might be on 80% splits, some people might be on 40% splits, some people might be on 60. It's all what you've negotiated with your company. Here, it's even. The highest producers pay the same as the smallest producers. So when I'm comparing this to your old company, I can't really tell you what your split is. I can only give some examples, which we're going to do in a minute. I, I also know that the E&O you know, insurance is 600 and the technology fee is approximately 450. So we're going to use that as in our example. So let's say you're someone who's, who has gross commission income of $40,000 a year. Is that beneficial to be a Keller Williams? So let's take a look. $40,000, you would pay 30% of your commissions up to the $40,000, so you'd pay the office $12,000. You'd pay Keller Williams International 6% of your commissions, which is $2,400. You'd have your E&O and your tech fees. So you'd have, if you subtract that from 40, you'd have a net to the agent of 25 to 80. In your old company, I'm making the assumption, unless you're on a special deal, that you are at 55%. On a 55% split, you would pay $18,000 to the company. You'd have your E&O and tech fee, which means your net, when you subtract this from 40, is $20,950. The difference is $4,333 a year. And that's just for having your license at another office, just for having your license at Keller Williams which is $360 a month. What could you do with the $360,000 a month? Maybe you could get on Realtor.com premium account. Maybe you could have some of your own websites. You could do some, some additional marketing, hire a, a tech person to optimize you. There's all sorts of things you can do with this money that will add to your ability to do more deals. So let's go to $60,000 a month. And you'll see that it's a little bit different, but let's go through it. You would wind up paying at 60000 you would complete your 18000 and 3000 to Keller, so you would not pay any more. You'd have your tech fees. You'd net out at 38680 In your old company, you're paying 24000 to the company, plus you have your 1050 in additional fees, so you would be netting 34950 The difference is 3730 It's about the same. 
60000 is that break-even point because then you stop paying Keller Williams anything. For the rest of the year, after you pay that 60000 you are free at 100%. So let's say you have a decent year and you have 80000 in gross commission income. Let's take a look at this. You're going to be paying the full fees to Keller the same as 60. It doesn't change at all. You just get the additional 20, so you get 58,680. At your old company, and I'm assuming by the time you're making 80 or the 65% split, you'd be paying 28,000 plus your fees. You're at 51,950. That difference is 6730, $560 extra a month. What can you do with that? Whether it's using it for your personal use or, or for the company use, you're going to be in a better way. You're going to be able to do more marketing. You're going to be in a better position to move forward in this tough market just for keeping your license with a company that has a better business model. So there are many reasons to come to Keller, but I'm just here to talk about the, the numbers. And when you look at the numbers, they're second to none. There's nothing, there's no other company out there who can afford you these numbers at any commission level that you're at. So thank you very much. I'd love to talk to you more about it. You can email me. I can email you these numbers. I can email you any scenario. You, you tell me what your gross commission income level is. I will do the comparisons for you. And I'm 100% confident that when you look at the numbers, you'll be bringing home more money if you're here.